What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to this flashback episode where we are looking at huge loot raids that we had back when we did our Titan push. Now this was way back when the Titan Leagues first came out and it's quite nice to look back at these raids because this is when I started my channel and a lot of you new guys won't have seen some of these monster raids that we had back then. So by all means, go back and have a watch of some of them episodes if you want to. Make sure to subscribe using the button on the top right because when we get our heroes a little bit higher, we'll move on to Town Hall 11 and hopefully make a push for Legends. But enough about that, time to move on because we've already taken over 1 million loot in this raid. Now I remember this raid absolutely clear as day. I'd been searching in the clouds for quite a while, came across this base and accidentally put my queen in on the town hall. I could have used her over on that gold storage to the left because it's wide open. That would have given me the rest of that. Looking at this now, I should have put my king in there as well because there's not much dark elixir in the middle. Don't know why I went for that. But still over 1 million in gold and with my loot bonus which I believe was about 300,000 that is a heck of a lot of loot. Moving on to our next monster loot raid you'll see that's not too bad of a picture either. 700,000 of each and 5,000 dark elixir. I used the quattro lava Lunion strategy to push my way right through to titan leagues and I did that because my heroes were both only level 25 at the time so I, I didn't want to use a strategy that was a bit heavier on the heroes. I do have an attack strategy guide video for that as well, links at the top right there if you do want to check that out but getting back to this raid, the trophies were obviously the most important thing here but I came in from the left Mainly at the time that was position of the air sweepers in the clan castle and lining up the infernos. But you'll see there's a heck of a lot of storages on that side. I'm able to push my way through them. Do have a couple of minions at the top helping to take out them elixir pumps because a lot of the loot is in there as well. From here I've already got the two star and there's absolutely no chance of me getting the three star with just my heroes. So it's just working out where to put them to get the most amount of loot from this now. So I've gotten all of the elixir, dark elixir is quite difficult to get to but them gold storages on the right hand side of the core look very tasty. So the heroes are going to help to take out them outside trash buildings first and then the king changes his mind, goes for that little T-junction which is quite nice because it helps my troops get the gold mine and then allows the queen to turn around, take out that gold storage whilst the king is still tanking, takes out that dark elixir mine and then as an absolute boss takes out that second gold storage as well to once again help secure over 1 million in loot and with the loot bonus that equaled over one and a half million resources in loot and I got the victory. Doesn't seem like a lot of trophies but at the time all I was finding was one and two cup offers so that amount of trophies with the loot on top was a huge success. Now moving on to the last raid of today, not quite as much loot but when you find a dead base it is always a bonus. So I'm attacking from the north on this one, that is because of the direction of the air sweepers, I'm not going to have any problems from them. That in itself would be a reason to attack from there but it also means I'm attacking from the clan castle side. Now if troops don't come out and engage your air troops, if it's air troops themselves, if your minions come in and take that clan castle down then it means that nothing's going to be triggered when you bring in your heroes. So you'll see that is the case for this raid, but I'm only just past 40% trying to snipe off a couple of extra buildings with spare minions, but I'm not really going to be able to just push willy-nilly and try and take the rest of the loot. I'm going to have to make sure that I can at least get the 50% from this raid as well, because up in Titan League, that is the main thing. If you're trophy pushing, you do not want to lose. So we finished up on 46%, I think it's quite safe to bring my heroes in towards the town hall given that the clan castle's already down. I have my poison spell but there's not really much space for skeleton traps as it is there. However I wanted to test the waters with my king first and make sure that it was still safe to bring in my queen towards the town hall. Because if my king gets caught up here and goes down very quickly I can just bail out and take say the barracks on the right hand side and ensure that I at least get that victory. So you'll see I get to 49% and decide to bring my queen in but to be fair it was a long shot to try and get that town hall. Should have maybe just took the gold mine at the bottom. 
Not to worry, I still got 900,000 in loot with my loot bonus that pushes that again to over 1 million and it just shows how much loot you can get when you're trophy pushing or even if you decide to just push up and farm here. I know this is old footage and I'm just bringing you this as a bit of a flashback episode but we recently did a clan push. I pushed to mid champions and trust me it is certainly a viable place to farm especially if you're only able to jump on for a single raid at a time you can train up a stronger army or maybe you're going for a specific resource you can really target that with that stronger army but the loot bonus helps as well don't forget that guys. But that is going to wrap up this episode I hope you enjoyed watching some of my epic loot raids I had back when I did my titan push. I've been your host Judo Sloth make sure to subscribe for more Clash of Clans and until next time, peace out guys. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.